Hey guys, I want to give you an update. My life has changed forever and I don't know what's in store for me next. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Before I give you my sad news on what's in store for my life next, I do want to tell you guys that I think each and every one of you should have an airbag vest. I wear this with every ride. I'll include a link to this and all my other gear in the description and comment section of this video. This is a true lifesaver and it help keep you from having a real effed up day should you ever go down on your bike. Uh, but anyways, I told a lot of you guys in the past, you know, in past videos, um, that you know my last three years has been just you know working on my business and taking care of a relative 24 7 from home uh, and by the way that relative is my grandmother my precious grandmother and she just uh, passed away recently and it's been extremely difficult um, she was my my, my father mother best friend grandmother you know she was everything to me man and i'll tell you guys that you know without her cycle cruiser would not be here um as i told you guys we had a lot i had a lot of tragedy in my family you know i told you guys my my dad passed away when he was 30 years old when i was four years old my brother passed away at 30 years old um my mom was strangled and and left for dead and had to learn had to rehab and learn everything all over again when I was 11 years old and my grandmother graciously uh, took up my myself and my brother in and took care of us and but she's been there through my whole life she's been my best friend anytime I was ever down she was there for me 100% loyal she had the most beautiful heart everybody loved her man everybody um, she never held a grudge against any, everybody, anybody. She was just the sweetest person and the most beautiful person I ever met in my life. And, and you know, when she, when her mind started to decline with dementia back in 2016, uh, I told her that I would never let her go in a nursing home. And I did everything in my power to keep her out of one. And thank God she never had to go to one. And I was able to take care of her 24 seven. I did everything for her, man, everything. And I'll do it all over again. If I had to, if I had to do it for 15 years, I would do it. Um, because like I said, she was, oh, she's just the most beautiful person. It was a blessing to be able to take care of. It was very extremely challenging at many times, because as I told you guys, I run a business from home. Uh, and taking care of her 24 7 it was it was really really challenging but I used to pray every night and thank God that he allowed me uh, he blessed me to be able to take care of her and give back just a little bit back to her uh, you know for all that she has done for me and everybody just a sweet person so this is extremely difficult time for me and my family um, I don't know what's next for me. Um, my life has completely changed now. She was my beacon of light. Anytime I was ever down, I loved talking to her. She always uplifted me. She was always there for me for anything I ever needed. And uh, so it's really extremely tough for me. I don't know, you know, I don't know right now what I'm gonna do going forward. Obviously, um, I, I'm gonna take solace. And, and, and comfort in my motorcycles I tell you guys that's why I tell you guys to get a motorcycle because it will uplift you and I can't wait to get back on the bike my poor grandmother she was in hospice into life care for nine days she went in 79 pounds and she lasted for almost a week and a half with no food and water and end of life care, man. She held on for dear life all the way to the end. And such a strong woman. And that strength, man, makes me strong uh, going forward. 
Um, but I don't know what's in store for my life next. Um, I'm thinking about possibly in the future maybe moving out of Ohio, but I love Ohio because this is my, my home. It's, yeah, this Ohio, I was born here and raised here. A lot of memories here, a lot of memories in this house here with my grandmother, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I had thought about you know, moving to maybe like North Carolina or um, out west, you know, somewhere, southwest somewhere, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I want you guys to leave a comment below. I want you to share your experience and when you had a loved one that passed away and how you dealt with it and uh, how you move forward and you know, I don't have any kids, I don't have a wife or anything. Um, I was only engaged one time many years ago and uh, that was a very difficult breakup back then and my grandmother was there for me. When I lived in Colorado, she came out to my house, lived, stayed with me for a month, bought me groceries, cooked dinner, paid my electric bill. I, I told you she was always there for me, man. So it was a blessing to give back to her. But yeah, just right now my life is just, it's like gut wrenching right now. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next. Um, Motorcycles are always going to be in, light, in my life as long as I'm able body to be able to ride a bike. Because um, I tell you guys, this is my beacon of light as well. <laughs> I can't wait to get back on my bike, man, and, and do some wheelies on my supermoto and some donuts <laughs> to uplift me. And uh, I look forward to getting back um, to being more social again. I haven't been social really. It's just been my grandmother and my business. That's it for three last three years. So it'll be nice to get back re uh, with my friends and and uh, and maybe move to a brand new location or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna. I want to take a bug out van trip. And uh, um, I don't know. I was even thinking maybe even getting a, a another RV. Uh, to add to my bug out van collection, maybe a small class C or something and throw a motorcycle on back of there, do some traveling around the country, do some motor vlogs, you know, maybe even meet up with some of you guys and ride with some of you viewers out there. I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know what's going on. I tell you guys, tomorrow is not promised to you, man. <laughs> That's why I tell you guys, if you want to get out here and ride a motorcycle, guys, get out and do it now. Because you may not be able to do it tomorrow. Who knows? You may not, your body may not be able to ride a motorcycle or you may not be here tomorrow. So do it now. Ride now, man. It's fun. Good times, man. I appreciate all you viewers. You guys have been uh, wonderful. I thank for sticking with me. For those of you, you hardcore, loyal viewers, I really appreciate you guys. You know, my videos, my, you know, my channel is all about motivating people to get a motorcycle and discussing various motorcycle topics and inciting community discussion. Please leave those comments. I love talking with you guys. That's what keeps motivating me to do videos because I love talking with you guys. The first couple hour or two with every video that I upload, I always uh, talk with you guys in the comments, man. So leave those comments. And by the way, guys, I am putting my, uh, my beloved, I love this bike, man. But I'm going to sell it and I'm gonna put it for sale in January. So if any any you out there that's interested, um, hit me up. Um, it's not because I don't like this bike. I just want to change to a new bike every year and just try something new. Um, especially with the passing of my grandmother, I just want something fresh and new and have fun with and share that content with you guys. Uh, YZ, this is my favorite bike of all time so far, guys. I'm not getting rid of this. <laughs> if you haven't seen my full build series on this, I'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video where I turned into a street legal supermoto. It's a 2019 YZ 450FX. And uh, you can tune the power via smartphone. It's an amazing, amazing bike, man. Don't forget to subscribe to my All In One Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up, share, like, appreciate all you guys. Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.